So today I'm going to put my thinking cap on and we're playing Kerbal Space Program 2. And folks, I do warn you, Komodo doesn't know what he's doing, but I'm going to try to make the world's fastest land rocket. And the results actually came out kind of surprising. So be sure to stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. Okay, so before we build a vehicle that actually has wheels and goes very fast and kills everything, I should probably understand the, the basics of getting the vehicle off the ground. So we're going to make a small rocket here. And you know what? It's go big or go home here. So let's go ahead and get our fuel tank here actually we need extra fuel so let's go with one of those bad boys there propulsion let's just make sure i know how to get a rocket off the ground that looks like it's fun what happens if i stick one of these on top of the other one? Oh, there we go probably should have a command pod uh this looks fairly aerodynamic here there we go add a nose cone to that <laughs> got a big fuel tank on it but a small pod Okay, we're gonna put some extremely large uh, wings on it. There we go. All right, that looks good. Um, I think we have a basic rocket that might be able to launch. Okay, let's put a launch clamp on this bad boy. Boom, we are ready to go to uh, outer space or maybe about 100 feet off the ground before it uh, explodes and I kill people. Do I dare look at the engineer's report? Thrust to weight is less than one. Also, <laughs> they don't have a parachute, so they may not survive the landing. Well, that wasn't the goal. Okay, so they're saying my pod's a little too fat. Um, hold on, I can fix that. I'm gonna put enough of these on for this to be considered an explosive. So let's go right there. There we go. For sure, we got enough to get off the ground now, right? What? What's the countdown that's happening? Um, I, I, I can't tell. What, 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 at one point, oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. And we're off. Uh, we are now going, wait, we're going to space here. Oh my goodness, this is actually working. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is gonna blow up and I didn't even set the stages. Uh, I hope those things actually fly off. If not, we've got a big heavy turret that's gonna hit the ground here in a minute. Yeah, I probably should have thought about the whole parachute situation, shouldn't I have? Well, we're gonna achieve getting into space without dying, so I mean, that's a positive. Do I think I can make a turn and go to orbit? Probably not. Uh, oh, 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 what was that? Okay, those are out. Um, I didn't actually put in an ejection method to get those off, did I? Okay, I need to plan a return trip. Can, is there a way I can actually point this way and point back down towards the pad? I still think I'm carrying way too much momentum going up. Eventually, that's going to hopefully go back down. Yeah, we're now uh, spinning out of control. Okay, so, I mean, I know how the rockets work, so I think I can make something on the ground that goes pretty fast, right? Okay, so I think we're ready to kind of switch this around real quick. So we're going to change the workspace orientations. Okay, so hold huh, on. I'm going to connect some fuel tanks together. I don't think we need this much fuel, but it kind of looks cool, so we're going to go with it. Okay, so I think the, uh, the front pod being bigger than the rest, the air is going to go around it, uh, so... <laughs> It's gonna cut through just fine. Actually, I should probably find where the wheel's at. Okay, here we go. We have extra big, um, are any of these actually good? Actually, we need impact tolerance and that needs to be high. Okay, we got 150 here. All right, let's turn on symmetry mode. Okay, I don't know how wide we want this to be. Uh, do we want like multiple rockets? I feel like we should probably have multiple rockets, right? Like let's put one gigantic one back here that doesn't fit and then let's just stuff more stuff on top of it right like we could put some solid boosters i don't know if that's going to interrupt like the back on can i put that in it oh that kind of works and can i just stack a, a like a metric ton of them like this is kerbal space program i should be able to do this stuff all right so let's go boom and then we're gonna go stack what are the odds of this actually launching without it exploding probably minimal can you guys give me uh what you think down below give me a percentage of uh success here Okay, so we have six wheels on this. I probably need some wings on this. It'd make me feel a little better. Uh, so we need to put some sort of like intakes on top of these because it looks cool. There we go. Let's just snap those on here. I still have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, let's put some uh, unnecessary wings on the front of this thing. What did the engineers say? Warning me once again about the parachute. Um, well, I think we're going to have to avoid having a parachute on here. Yo, if I put like really big wings, can we take flight with this thing? And we need wings for the solid boosters. <laughs> this is like the worst thing that's possibly ever been made. I imagine some people have already clicked off this video. Okay, how do struts work? Um, oh, okay. That's, that's solid. Yeah, I don't know if these struts are actually doing anything except for maybe adding some sort of structural integrity, but I don't think that's a thing with this particular uh, vehicle. Also, I like how I actually stuck those to the flap, so I guess if I did want to use the flap, it's probably going to move too. 
Okay, you're gonna need to take me to the runway. We probably should do a test with the live subject just to see if it works. Um, it didn't explode immediately. Okay, it has uh, turning abilities, maybe. All right, uh, I should probably see. Wait, could I in theory get lift with this? I don't think that's the way these. Oh, hold on, that might work that way. I'm not really sure. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, uh, are you guys really doing a countdown? Oh my goodness. We're moving pretty fast. Uh, I feel like we could be going faster. Han, if I were to try to adjust this, what would happen? Uh, oh my good. Well, thanks game. I mean, according to these calculations, I went pretty fast, I think. Let's go back. Uh, I feel like I need to play with the wings a little bit. All right, we're gonna go with the less is more approach. I just wanna see if we can get it somewhat stable here. Uh, in theory, I, I think I could get lift with this. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and give this a go. Um, oh, unpause. There we go. The boosters are going. Um, it's looking pretty saucy here. We are veering. I should probably aim the camera around. Oh, can I get lift here? Oh my goodness, I think we're gonna want lift. Hey, we're going off road. Um, at what point does this become unstable? Like, this is kind of working, not gonna lie. Uh, it looks cool. Uh, can we turn? Can't confirm turning ability is non-existent. We are about to fly off into the ocean. Uh, come on, our last hope is that we get air and we get lift. Oh my goodness! Okay, Komodo accidentally made a plane. Ba, ha ba ba, ha ba ba da ga da, ha ba ba da da ba. I mean, granted, it's a plane that doesn't turn. How did this somewhat work? Oh wait, our boosters are gonna go away. So yeah, our solid fuel boosters are about to run out. Uh, we have gained lift. Um, <laughs> I don't feel like the one booster is enough to keep lift though. Wait a minute. Hold on, we're going to the sky. You know, if we had some form of landing zone, like another piece of land, I could totally try to, wait, there's an island over there. Is it weird that this thing somewhat functions as a plane? I think our only hope to save Bill, since I didn't put a parachute on it, is to try to land on that small little island over there. I, I feel like we could just add more rockets. Like, obviously, We've got speed. We don't have stability. It doesn't exactly go straight, but it does things and it doesn't fall apart. Okay, I uh, can't confirm. I'm trying to turn to the island. Doesn't steer great. Uh, we're actually turning back. Hold on. Houston, we have one gigantic problem here uh, and it is totally my fault. Okay, we better hope this bad boy floats. Okay, we have run out of fuel. We are going to try to tip this thing back up. It kind of steers cattywampus in opposite of what you would think it steers. So if you were to watch a noob attempt to build another vehicle, uh, what would it be? Oh, here we go. Um, this is fine. Definitely speeding up. Hold on, try to correct it. Try to correct it. The game's gonna say I need training. Uh, okay, yeah, if we would have had some form of a uh, parachute system there, we probably would have survived. You know, I should probably add these like couplers to eject the fuel boosters. I feel like ejecting fuel boosters from a moving vehicle on the ground isn't it particularly a great like strategy, but uh, it's a strategy I'm willing to take to be able to get more fuel boosters on here. Okay, I think these are right. All right, so we want to probably move these up to the top stage. So I went ahead and put a shuttle front end on here just to make it look a little more uh, ridiculous. And look, people are gonna complain I don't have a parachute. Well, we officially have a parachute on. Okay, we need to put some more struts on here. Remember, the top ones eject, so you might not wanna put struts on those because that doesn't make any bit of sense. Uh, so let's try to connect these uh, to the front here. Okay, move those around a little bit. Uh, I added more boosters. There's no rhyme or reason to them anymore. I'm just hoping that these actually uh, work. So let's go to launch. Okay, can't confirm it does explode. Uh, why it explodes? Not 100% sure, something like landed. Uh, can I just hit go? Uh, oh, did did we kill the, oh, we might have killed the uh, poor guy in the middle. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I swear it all goes downhill. Okay, let's try to see what happens. Well, stuff is bouncing, so I feel like that might be, oh, it's the one on the couplers. Huh, well, it did explode this time, so that's a miracle. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, we need the next stage. There we go. Oh my goodness, that is way too many rockets. It creates a very nice effect though. Okay, I don't have lift this time. Uh oh, uh, okay, maybe, oh. 
Uh, vessel has lost control. Uh, the fuel tank is fine, though. It's going out to the ocean. You know, maybe I had a, an okay design to begin with, and I've just screwed it up here. I need to add wings to that. You know, making the wheels to where they can steer would probably be a good idea, too. Um, yeah. Okay, next design has wings on it. Okay, so let's see if this one holds together. I should probably make it where I can steer uh, with the wheels. Do these actually have steering on them? I don't think they do. I think they're static. All right, so we're getting moving here. All right, skip that. Here we go. We've lit them up. Remember, we do get the eject, the, uh, the two uh, stabilizers there. I want to try to stay on the ground here. Obviously, we're going for, like, speed. Uh, can you turn to the... Okay, it turns... Oh, my goodness. Yep, that was a mistake. Yep, I really shouldn't have tried to turn that. All right, let's go. All right, so I like to get it moving with the uh, top two boosters, and then we're going to slowly just creep into it here. Komodo knows what he's doing. Okay, slight turning. Slight turning. No, okay, we're going off-roading here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Okay, Komodo's officially made a vehicle that just is just death. I feel like this is officially the one and only time I play Kerbal Space Program on my channel. Okay, we're just going to go for lift here. Let's just see. I mean, something's obviously off because it turns. Uh, hold on. Come on. Come on, baby. Lift. Lift. No, it's lifting the wrong. Oh, my goodness. Keep it going. Oh, and we've created a bomb. Yep, I have a nuclear explosion. Okay, well, we did a thing. 